Paul here again. I'm now going to show you some of the new features of our version 2 firmware for the PIX240, which we released uh, the first day of NAV. Um, probably the most significant new feature is um, the introduction of some new LCD monitor functionality, like exposure assist and peaking assist functions. Uh, we've had our 800 by 480 pixel LCD for some time, obviously since the beginning of the product, but now we want to make that far more useful. So now we can very easily um, turn on uh, exposure controls. This is like a false colour mode and the different colours highlight different levels of exposure. Generally you're aiming for to get a correct exposure on a face uh, you're looking for pinks, greens and greys. Um, if I just uh, adjust the, ex if you just focus down on the screen of the, to, if I adjust the, expo the aperture on the uh, camera you can see as, the, as it gets really dark it goes blue, as I open up the, the aperture it gets the colour changes. So this is a very useful tool for setting exposure. In addition to that, we also have zebras. So if you go into our menu, scroll down to the new LCD monitor menu, and on our first menu here, exposure assist, select zebras. We have various other options here, but zebras one. I can now go back to the main menu, turn on my zebras, and now we can see that anything that is um, at that threshold level, the exposure threshold level, um, will have like these zebra stripes appear. This is a very common technique used in the industry. Okay, so that's exposure control. We also have some focus assist features. And, uh, by pressing the LCD plus audio button, we have one-to-one -one pixel mapping. So this is a zoom function. Simply, as I said, press LCD plus audio to turn it on and off, okay? Now, once you're in the zoom mode, you can use the encoder to scroll up and down through any part of that image and also from side to side using the fast forward and rewind keys. If I want to return to centre, just simply press the encoder. So a very useful feature. You can use that zoom feature in conjunction with our peaking edge enhancement feature. So if I press LCD plus menu, anything that's highlighted in a red edge, um, maybe you can't see that here, but anything that's highlighted in a red edge is like in focus, okay? So you can, by adjusting that, you can really, really get the focus tightly tuned. Okay. In addition to the, um, the focus assist and exposure assist features, we have the ability to also flip the display upside down, which is useful if, uh, for different mounting options, uh, if the camera's being operated upside down, various different mounting positions. Not only that, but we've also introduced the ability to adjust the, the, the colour of the actual LCD monitor. So by pressing LCD plus the encoder, we now can also adjust brightness, we can adjust um, contrast, and we can now also adjust chrome, chroma, so we can make this display much warmer, etc. Okay. So that's the LCD monitor functionality. Not only that, we've also introduced cube marker and loop play functionality. This is very easy to do. Let me just demonstrate. What you do is during record, you uh, obviously press record, and any time during record, you just hit the files button, and it will write a cue marker. And then I can have as many cue markers as I like. There's another cue. And I can write another, as many as I like. And then that's useful for when, when it comes to playback and you want to uh, demonstrate a part of that shot to like the director or, whoem or whomever, you literally can then just uh, hit play and cue directly by pressing the skip function, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q2, Q1. I can even do that from pause mode if I like, so just queue up to Q1, hit play, pause again, go to Q2, run through it like that. Now another really neat feature is loop play mode, so if I hold the play button for a second, it loop appears in the screen. So now I can, let's say I want to loop between Q2 and Q3, I'm, I'm currently at Q2, so I'm now going to press play plus fast forward, and now I'm going to go from Q2 to the next Q. So here we go, if I just play that, it'll keep loop, looping this section of the, of the clip. Okay, I can even do that at high speed, or in reverse high speed, or even in slow motion. Okay, so very powerful looping function. 
A couple of other features in version 2, we now support standard definition. And the fourth feature I'd like to talk about is we've added more audio input possibilities. So coming to the menu, scrolling down here, if we go into our audio input menu, we can see these three new positions here, analog plus SDI, HDMI. So now you can record HDMI and SDI at the same time. And that's pretty much what version 2 firmware is, a pretty major update, as you can see, which already turns the already very powerful 240 into an even more flexible and pretty mind-blowing tool. So thanks for listening.